there is always something going on at Factory 5. We always have five, ten projects going on. We're building a special edition Barrett Jackson shop truck. We got a full fender truck that's debuting in a week. And there's so much going on, but really the headliner is a supercar. It represents not just a new car for Factory 5, but a new design process that'll drive us into the future. Basically, Dave came to me and said, what can we do that we haven't done before? You know, we have this really capable front engine platform. We can stretch the wheelbase, we can stretch the width, we can make it fit really a supercar template. I asked him to use the Daytona Coupe chassis and design a front engine exotic supercar. And I want to use an all new tool, VR. And what I'm talking about is designing the shape of the car in a virtual world without the pain and time and cost of the real world sanding. The challenge has always been in vehicle designs. What do they look like physically? How do you visualize them without spending a lot of time, money, energy on making prototypes? You know, with the VR goggles on, you actually see the car as it would look in 3D space in the correct scale. The benefit to this was, was pretty immediately obvious. We were able to shape completely in digital form using something like a digital clay. He's physically changing that outer shape really in real time, you know, as we're looking at it. If this works, then we have a tool that will reduce our development time from two to three years down to two to three months. We jumped right to the milling stage from the CAD file, which is an amazing achievement in itself. If it comes out looking like it looks in VR, I think we have a rock star car. I think we're gonna be successful. We don't know. The bottom line is this is the future. If we can harness this technology, it'll grow the company in multiples that we could never do without it.